day two of the 10th annual Vail Film Festival 2013. We've got a filmmaker here we're going to talk a little bit about. Let's go ahead and introduce him. Could you please tell us who you are and a little bit about yourself? Yep, um, my name's Kevin and I come from Sydney, Australia. i uh, a filmmaker, um, been doing it for a few years now. Uh, this is the first professional short that we did. Uh, it's played at a few other film festivals, uh, but this is our first time playing in at Vail and my first time uh, in Colorado. That's wonderful news. First showcase he decided on Vail, Colorado. I'm going to get to that right quick, but first could you tell us about the film, what it is? and. Yep, um, so uh, the film is called Lycan and it's just a short eight minute uh, film. Uh, it's a romantic comedy uh, that blends a bit of um, metaphysics and science fiction into it. So why did you choose Vail, Colorado for your first uh, American? Showcase or uh, first? No, not first American. Uh, but this is probably the fifth festival that we've played in. Uh, but I actually uh, knew, um, heard about Vale from a previous festival we played in, the Baja Film Festival, which is also run by the Cross Brothers that run Vale Film Festival. And they said, hey, you guys should submit to Vale. Um, so we did, and luckily they still like it, so we got accepted again. What do you think about the uh, audience here, about the feedback, about the energy here? Was the recommendations, was it right? Was it Absolutely. I, um, it, it was really great. I mean, having played at a few festivals, you, you know, show up to your screenings and there's, you know, a few people in a tumbleweed there. Uh, but, you know, here we are. It's, you know... Easter weekend, uh, 11 in the morning, and the cinema was packed out. And then had to do a QA and a and you know, just the questions that were asked were really thoughtful and in-depth. And you, you could really get a sense of uh, the passion. And you know, they're all real movie lovers. So it, it's really great. I've, I'm vibing off that energy. Yeah. Wonderful. So your first time in Colorado, your first professional short film. Are you planning on taking it bigger? Are you plan on more shorts in the future, features in the future? Yeah, absolutely. So um, after this short, we made another one which played at Tropfest, which is uh, one of the world's largest short film festivals. So we were one of the finalists there. It played to 92,000 people in Sydney, played nationally broadcast all over Australia to 2 million people. So that was quite a trip. So I think going off that and, you know, the attention that we're getting with Lycan is just, you know, it's telling us that we're doing something right. So definitely more shorts. And then, you know, I really hope that I might be able to make a jump across the pond migrate over to you know the states and start looking at making features that's the dream Glad you brought that up because Colorado is recently passing incentives to help film production in the state. We've got a 20% tax break and there's also a loan program you can qualify for which might fund up to 20% of your feature or any film that you work on. With that in mind, how possible is it that that jump across the pond might involve producing a film out here in Colorado? Oh, well, with incentives like that, then absolutely. I mean, yeah, we drove in yesterday and I was with another filmmaker, Kevin Margo, who's also got another short in competition. And as we're in the car, we're just marveling at the scenery and just going, yeah, that could be a great film location. That could be a film, great film location. We're just brainstorming different ideas and genres that we could do. Like this one could be a horror film. This one could be, you know, a great Nazi cave bunker or, you know, just snowballing ideas. So this is a great place. and. Coming from Australia, this is like me visiting a movie set, so I'm getting lots of ideas for what I could be doing here. Well, we're 
really happy that this place has uh, really got your juices flowing. How are you co accommodating to the altitude out here? Uh, I'm really dry and husky. I feel like a zombie. I'm just like drying out and I'm just downing lots of bottles of water. Um, it takes a bit of getting used to. But, um, yeah. Well, um, thinning out your blood's a great idea, so if you don't have a problem, if you're partial to beer, try having a couple of Stellas here. That'll help you out, out a little bit. Um, I just have a few questions, and this is going to be pretty challenging for you because you're not familiar with Colorado, but there's one fun little thing. Uh, first of all, have you heard of Colorado, and what's some of the first? What's some of the things that you think of when you hear of Colorado? When I hear Colorado, I think of South Park. Um, I think of Denver, and whenever I hear Denver, even though I I know they're not set in Denver, I think of movies like Fargo, all those like crime movies set in middle America. You know, very very middle class and suburban. That's what I think of when I think of Denver. I didn't know that it was you know such a central hub in terms of the airport and you know it had a train system that's amazing so um yeah i learned something yeah. learn a little bit about colorado and a little bit more about it too it sounds like but i'm glad south park got out there Hey, it was a pleasure meeting you, man. Thank you so much for coming thank out to Colorado. Much. Any parting words you'd like to leave with us? Um, just thank you very much for being so friendly and accommodating. Um, it's so nice to you know travel all the way out here and you know be accepted with open arms. You know, talk to fine folk like you and yeah, great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks so much for bringing your film out here. Yeah.